In this video, I continue our Aristea painting series with Moonchild. Moonchild is what is known as a dog face, a derogatory term for humans born on dawn who are infected by the antipode virus as a fetus. They are born looking human but with canine features. They are particularly feared as when their adrenaline is up they transform into dog warriors. Their muscles and body contort and change into a bipedal wolf with supernatural strength. Moonchild is from a US Ariadna outpost near Antipode territory. The character design borrows heavily from Native American culture with the tomahawks and honorific feather decoration. As I approached the model for painting, I wanted to keep the colours as earthy as I could, a reflection of the connection I felt the character had to nature. I used Games Workshop's XV88, which has a golden brown colour for the base coat of the fur, and Vallejo burnt umber for the clothing. The Tomahawk's blades were based black in preparation for a silver NMM. Once the base coats were finished and cleaned up with a smaller brush, I looked at painting the clothing. Her artwork has an earthy green, so I took burnt umber, added yellow green, and blended up from the brown. As I painted, the contrast was lacking, so I added Avalon Sunset to lighten and raise the intensity of the green for the brightest highlights. Yellow is great to add to a colour to make it lighter, as it keeps the colour's intensity, whereas white would pale the paint. With the green of the clothing finished, I looked to the fur. I gave all of the skin and fur a wash with Games Workshop's Reichland Flesh Shade. This needed time to dry before I touched it again. In the meantime, I painted the tomahawk handles the same yellow green of the clothing to match the artwork. With the wash now dry, I took XV88 again and Vallejo Ivory and added them to my wet palette. Moonchild has white fur over her whole body where it is close to her skin, while having pale orange fur where it is thick. Starting with the short white fur, I painted from the gold brown of the XV88 up to the ivory. This allowed the fur to read as white, but still keep a lot of those earthy tones that I wanted present across the whole model. Before I tackled the face, I wanted to prep the mouth and eyes. I wanted the very edge of the lips and the curl of the gums to be red. So I painted the whole mouth, including the teeth, red. While leaving this to dry, I painted the whole of the eyes black, along with the eyebrows, as in her artwork. In retrospect, the black eyebrows are probably a bit too much, and I should have kept these closer to her natural hair colour so that it wouldn't draw away from the eyes. I then did my best to leave a black outline as I painted the inside of the eye with the ivory before dotting the pupils. I came back to the mouth now that the red was dry and painted over the teeth with the ivory, taking care to leave a line of the red still visible around the edge of the mouth. Just like the fur, I painted the face by blending up to ivory and finished off the white fur with the calves. It was time to tackle the thick fur. In the art, this hair is a pale orange, unlike Murtaire's fiery orange. To help keep the consistency of the earthy tones, I used XV88 again, blending this up to Vallejo light orange, and then mixed a little off-white to get a pale orange for the very top highlights. The majority of the legwork was now complete for the model, and I moved on to the details. However, uh, I forgot to record much of this stage, but what I did do was to add turquoise, red, and yellow to the pendants, buckles, and bands. Moonchild also has what appears to be gold discs lined around her belt, part of her pendants, and around one of her arms. I tackled these by painting them in non-metallic gold. The tomahawks and strips on her thighs I painted in non-metallic silver. I kept it quite dark in contrast to give an iron look to the metal. This I felt helped emphasize that earthy texture I was aiming for. Her feathers I painted white and then tried to freehand the red stripes. However, my free hand suffers from what is known as stupid fingers. From here on in, it was small touch-ups to finish, the claws painted ivory, and the end of her tail white. For the base, I kept things simple. Based with fine sand, painted brown, dried brush lighter browns, and finally flocked green. And here is Moonchild complete. I was really happy to keep with the earthy theme. To me, the colours complement one another well, and the blends on the model are smoother than many I have done previously. If I were to change anything, it would be those eyebrows. They just pull attention away from the eyes, which I actually painted really well this time. 
Thank you for watching to the end. I really appreciate it. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment or subscribe. Or if you do all three, that would be great too.